Hi, this is a short clip for Toolbox Tuesday, Unplugged Woodworkers. My name's John, and this is the toolbox I made at uh, the Woodwright School, week-long class for uh, learning hand tools. So the wood was dimensioned for the carcass, but uh, we did the dovetails, mortise and tenons, the moldings, and then I painted it at home did the hardware and made these trays. So uh, I used some walnut and um, some poplar from an 1820s house that we tore down and built a reproduction of. So it's a nice green color. And I got this idea for the nesting drawers uh, actually from a plastic toolbox that I was given. So uh, anyway, that's how it goes. I'm going to unhook and give some more details here. Okay, so <clears throat> the hinges actually were just cheap uh, big box store hinges and I added the little tabs, uh, just fusion weld that with my gas torch. And the idea was to really make it strong if, uh, if the door was held open by a cleat at the back, which is what uh, we kind of planned at the school. But then I thought better of that and like the brass chains, again hardware store stuff. Then I made these little uh, end pieces, uh, just formed up steel, painted it black. Um, here's the picture and the certificate from the Woodwright School and I couldn't recommend it more. I, I was not, uh, I was just uh, more than pleased with, uh, with the attention we got and what we learned and that. And then uh, like I said, I added the interior, so those uh, dividers are all removable. They're just uh, grooved, so if I change what I want to store in there, I can make a new set. And I did add these uh, walnut again from the 1820s house to support the uh, trays, and then just a small little chisel um, rack there in the front. So it doesn't hold a lot, but it was mostly for the learning experience. Um, there is a there's a key here, and it came with two keys. So I made this little uh, poem. I'll probably put it on the back. Of course, I'm covering something up here too. Um, anyway, the poem says, "If the key is lost, do not despair, as P. L. Robertson can provide a spare." Okay, so if you Google initials P.L. Robertson on the internet, you will find out that he was the inventor of the square drive screws. So one of the handles uses square drive school st screws, and behind that handle, I've uh, milled out and chiseled out a pocket for the spare key. So now if uh, someone breaks into this, I'm going to know know who did it. Another thing that was sort of sacrilegious I think was I just love these tea nuts. So I uh, I made pockets for them and to me that it's just such a such an elegant strong joint even though they're a modern invention and this is a pre-industrial design I couldn't resist so I had to for the um, tea nuts that I had um, I had to go up a screw size on the lid so the hinges kind of opened up and I know a lot of people don't like square drive screws or Phillips screws and the old stuff but this is the way I did it. Alright, thank you very much.